Bana Nzambe, boke na site internet www.nazaria.com Pour que vous ayez l'information sur l'ambition de M. Chrétien, vous avez l'habitude de vous donner un nom de pasteur. Parce que dans un bain général, vous pouvez vous donner un nom de contact sur le site internet. Vous pouvez vous donner un nom de l'information de l'ambition de l'ambition de l'ambition. Vous avez l'habitude de vous donner un nom de l'ambition de l'ambition de l'ambition. Every development you see in Nigeria is from individuals. This is my first time in Kinshasa. I also see the same thing. That more you are good than you are diamond. There is no development. But development is that. People are living in poverty. That's why conference like this is good. Because if you want to empower a man, don't give him money. Don't give him a car. Don't give him Don't give him money. 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 Don't give him Don't give him Don't give him information. 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 Information can have capacity of transformation. When you are informed, you can never be deformed. When you are informed, you can never be deformed. The Bible said, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Not that God is not there. Not that God do not have capacity to act. But you're lacking information on what to do. I want to salute the man of God here. Pastor Gideon. Pastor Gideon. That we gather men of God, gather people to give them information. Information is important. Information is a term important. Let, let me support you before you sit down. In the Bible, there was a great man called Neman. The Bible says he was the general of the army of the country. Very powerful man. Azaki pena moto nanguya. But he has leprosy. Kasi azaki na lepa, azaki na maya maba. There was sickness in his body. Obi malake azaki na mzoto na ye. He has gone to military hospital. Ab 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 atak akena kina ba pita niyo se sengela takene. There was no solution. Kasi solution azaki te. He has crossed over to other countries for medical treatment. Ye akena pena na ba moka niyo sopo mo luka solution ko ita bina. There was no solution. Kasi solution azaki te. But there was solution in his house. Kasi solution azaki na kacha ndako na ye. That he didn't recognize. Ati kala ki koye ba yangote. There was a maid in his house. That have information of where he can go to be healed. He never believed that such information will be on that day. But as the maid saw the master suffer, he said, "What does the master have solution to your problem?" I have information that can help. Nazan information na kwa kusumal. Ani sema sasa there is a pastor in our village. Alobi nisa na moto na nzamu pamo na moko ya biso. If you visit that pastor, shoki yako kuta ni na moto na nzamu. You will stop spending money on this. Yo kumi kana man makabosa na moto. And the master says shut up. What do you? Ben met alobi yako kama mna kwa yoye bini. You are just better me. Yo zamu kama mwa na musala. What do you know? Yo yoye bini. That's why you don't need to look at, look down on anybody. Yamomoni yo zana poso tala na sete. You don't have to look down on anybody. O zana poso tala motote. The place you look down can be the place of your lifting. E siko lo tala, e mi se se sika oyo yo lo kozan solution. After a long time. Apre batam mo 
that was how my man got healed. The power of information. information. Conferences like this will inform you. But we will not be like our leaders. That we will not listen and they will not implement. Even the back will say if you hear alone and you don't do. You cannot be blessed. So hear and do it. Is blessed. And I pray as you hear in this conference. As you implement it. Your minister will never remember this. Your church will never remember this. Your family will never remember this. Your business. We never remember the Somebody in agreement with me, can I hear you? Let's pray. The entrance to the word introduce light. Father, shed light on our path today. That no man in this conference. No woman in this conference. No woman in this conference. We walk in darkness hereafter. Thank you for answering prayers. Matum ipoito yanoli ilibondeli oyo. For Jesus name. Na komo na Yesu bondeli. Amen. Let's be seated. Tofani. Like I said, great men have spoken before me. Advanced web bishops and prophets and uh, high caliber of people speak. Ah, Advanced, you wonder what you are going to say. Uh, I'm not here, you know, to make people happy. Let me say that. Uh, you might not find it uh, very, very funny with what I'm going to share this morning. Every word that is too sweet doesn't make great impact. And the reason for conferences is to make us uncomfortable so that we sit up on what we have to do. Pastor Gideon did a great work this morning in telling us the work of a pastor. And the reason for conferences because I think also like in Nigeria, people are into pastorship for what they are going to gain. They are into pastorship because they see the pastors dress well. Maybe they have cars. And they live a good life. So everybody wants to be a pastor. Without understanding the responsibilities that are there. So I'm going to look at it from a different angle this morning. And in the process of uh, speaking, uh, I will tell you how I came to Kinshasa. The man that made me know this place. He's here this morning. He made me know Pastor Gideon. Ah, like saying up Moses Gideon. That finally invited me here. Uh, finally, I got invited man here. I was supposed to be here last year. Alors, n'ayant n'aya peut-être au moule le kaki. But the the immigration said no, my visa was not uh, in order. Kasi ba te immigration ba lobi ke visa fa. So this morning, I want you to put your hands together for the people that have spoken from the first day till yesterday. Let's appreciate them by clapping for them. They have done a great work.
My brother from Angola was on fire yesterday. And Bishop Ezekiel was the nice introduction of this conference. Bishop Ezekiel Alobaki Pena Makamoka Kitoko Alexemiso Naibondi Alobi. And the tall one that rebuked the pastors, we pastors over our attitude. Pe Alakisa Ki Penda Pe Alakisa Ki Pastor Nabati. All of them was wonderful. But my approach this morning is this. For you to tell somebody to come back. You need to understand why he left. Because if you force him to come back. He will run away again. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Until you understood why he left. You can't tell him to come back. Because if you come back. The trouble will continue. There is something that made him to leave. Something made him to run away. Have you settled the matter? If you don't settle the matter. And ask him to return. After some time again, we will return to this topic again. Come back to your master. So we want to understand. Why do they went away? Why did they run away? Why do people leave the church? Why do children run away from their families? Why do husbands abandon their wives? Why do wives abandon their husband? You need to know yes, before you ask wives to return to the yeah, world. Before you ask husband to return to the world. Before you ask the servant to return to the world. The man of God spoke yesterday. And they said uh, about uh, the runaway of Adam. Adam ran away. Adam Kenaki. Depart from the presence of God. Akenaki pena musika ya presence and zame. Why? Ponani. At the beginning it was not so. Na ebande lezaki bomote. Adam and Eve was enjoying the presence of God. Adam na Eva bavade pena kose pena mbuza insami yanza. Adam and Eve was enjoying good fellowship with God. Obi Adam na Eva bavade kose pena pena na ulenge bazaki yanza. You can imagine yourself. Basi yoku yoku imagine yomoko. In your house. Nda kona yo. In the evening. Nah, talk. God will knock at your door. Nzamba zota na makambozo sa. Say hello, my son. Abi so mbote mo na ngai. How are you doing? Boni o. You say fine, sir. Obi wina sa madam. Say how was work today? Boni musala lelo. How was church today? Mu eglise lelo. I say well with thank God, sir. Obi wina to kubi sin zambi, madam. Say well, I came to fellowship with you. Abi ba wonga na ipe na to kubi sana lelo. In your house. And you sit down to talk with God. How many people will like that? Nari, but the body bako sepe la nango. Bako nanza bepe na physically na nanda kona. Body bako sepe anomba tumola wabo. That was the kind of thing Adam and Eve was enjoying. Is that the lengo David na Adam and Eve na kuko sepe la nanza? There was no reason to run away. But that kind of reason go kimate. But something happened someday. Kasi elo komo komo mukolo moko. An advice I came. And say you only respect God. You can know what this God knows. And when you know what He knows, maybe He will even serve you. Not you serving Him alone. And if say what, do you mean it? Do you mean I can be like Him? And he said, you can be like him. And you say, how? He said, there is something he asked him not to do. He said, yes, there are many things. But he said, there is one thing that I must tell you. Say, what? He said, yes, there are many things. He said, but there is a special one. There is a special one. There is a food somewhere he asked him not to eat. He knows that the day you eat that fruit. That's why he said, don't go there. The day you eat it, you will become like him. And maybe he will serve you. 
The Bible says, if you look at it, and saw that it was good, she ate. That brings the brain, that brought run away. They run away. Listen to me. You can I. Bishop Ezekiel on the opening of this conference. Bishop, Bishop Ezekiel a fumola ki pina na conference. Talked about Hagar. Running away from the house of the master. Why did she run away? She only he, Bishop Ezekiel. Bishop Ezekiel spoke about the maltreatment of the master. Something made the master to maltreat. There was a trouble in the house. So I want to continue from there. Please, I want you to open to Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16. And we are going to read just a verse. Because we've read that so many times. We have read that so many times. We have read that so many times. Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16. Are you there? Genesis chapter 16. If you are there, can I hear you at the time? Amen. Okay, let's read from verse 1. Let me go beyond one verse. Now, Sarah, Abraham's wife, bear him no children. And she had an handmaid, an Egyptian. Elle avait une servante égyptienne dont le nom était Agar. Whose name was Hagar. Le nom était Agar. And Sarah said unto Abraham. Sarah dit Abraham. Behold now. Verse 2. Mm, yes. And Sarah said unto Abraham. Sarah dit Abraham. Behold now. Puisque. The Lord have restrained me from bearing. L'Éternel a empêché d'enfanter. I pray thee. I pray thee. D'enfanter. Go in unto my maid. Va donc vers ma servante. It may be that I may obtain children by her. Peut-être aurais-je un fils par elle. And Abraham hearkened to the word, the voice of Sarah. Abraham écouta la voix de Sarah. And Sarah, Abraham's wife, took Hagar her maid. Alors Sarah, femme d'Abraham, prit sa servante. The Egyptian. Égyptien. After Abraham had. Dwelled ten years in the land of Canaan. And, and gave her to her husband Abraham to be his wife. And he went in unto her. He went in unto Hagar. And he went in unto Hagar. And she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarah said unto Abraham, Alors ça va dire Abraham, My wrong be upon thee. Le drage qui me fait retomber sur My toi. wrong be upon thee. Le drage qui me fait retomber sur toi. I want to stop here. La ligne est souka. If you are writing anything, I stop it. Oui, mais ce que m'a dit Kotam, ma camol. I want to treat the topic I called. La ligne penda na lobe la ma camol. Has God done wrong? Est-ce que à ça qui m'a béni? God done wrong. Est-ce que nous avons passé là qui m'a béni? Has God done wrong? Est-ce que nous avons passé là qui m'a béni? Has God done wrong? Y a moi des mamans qui m'ont dit est-ce que nous avons passé là qui m'a béni? In my introduction. Y a moi des introductions à moi. I said. La lobby boy. Before somebody run away, there is trouble. Y a moi des motos qui m'ont fait des cambois là. If you want him to return, you settle the trouble. So qui on y est au sommet, c'est quelque chose qui s'en va les cambois. If you want him to return, you settle the trouble. When I was coming to Kinshasa, in the flight, na avion, at the Bravel, na avion, to the Bravel, ali Bravel, that's Gabon. Ah, two people we are dragging for one seat. Ah, but to me, Bali, but when they kinna kitimo, two the RDC people. But to me, Bali, but Bazaki are RDC. They were dragging one seat. And before you know it, 
They start to threaten themselves. This one say I will kill you. The other one say if you enter Kinshasa, you are dead. And the argument was too hot. What the airline did? Was they said we are not going to fly to Kinshasa. We are going to fly to Kinshasa was to separate two of them. Take one to the front. And take the other one to the back. Even if they want to kill themselves. Before they meet. People will be there. You understand? That's no problem. So if you carry two people that hate themselves inside one house without settling them properly before they wake up in the morning they may have killed themselves so before they return settle them very well why did they have to run away why do people run away from the church why do people decide respect their masters. What could be the possible mean? I want to say this. Because I will carry along with families. None of God are here. I want you to know. If you want to have a good nation, you must have good families. If you want to have a good church, you must have good family. All of us sitting down here come from a family. And if you come from a family of fighters, when we enter the church, we must fight. If you come from a family that rejects good things, no matter what they do in the church, they will reject it. So a man is a product of the family he comes from. So I will carry along the family as I'm talking about. So something them to run away. And we need to address that that made them to run away. You cannot just stand up and respect to a pastor. Oh, I want to tell my pastor. Something must have happened before somebody disrespected. For harder. That's why I say my topics are. Has God done wrong? Hear me and hear me very well. How can a man say he was just a maid? Hagar was just a servant. Servant in those days. Are bought with money. And when you buy any person with your money, you do to that person as you wish. They put what you are wearing. You bought it. If you like, you were born it now. Am I correct? Am I correct? If you like, you were born it. Body. If you like, you will put it on fire. Okay. So when you go to someone and mount, you go to buy one because you bought it with your money. Boy, the exact the local sumi number one ayo. Hear me very well. You come on, man. Hagar was just a maid. Hagar was like in a camp one and musala. He's not. She's not connected to Abraham. Yeah, as I keep connected to Abraham. She's not connected to Sarah. Yeah, as I keep connected to Sarah. They went to Egypt to buy her. But in And one day, there was difficulty in the family. And the man that was the house, the mama of the house. Look at her among the three other men. 
Nielsen ahí. And say I can trust this one. I want to connect her to my husband. I know she will not insult me. Having seen the nakedness of my husband. She will not insult me. I trust her. Before a woman will share her husband with you. She must have trusted you very well. True. The last thing a woman can share anything with you. But not her husband. But when a woman says, share my husband with me. She must have trusted you. She trusted her And she go and sleep with my husband. What I cannot do. You can help me to do. And the Haga say yes, ma. Aga be we, my case. And she went into the husband. Remember, it was not Abraham's idea. It was Sarah's idea. Sarah. There are people here. That people connected you to somebody. And they are regretting that connection today. Because of your attitude towards her. No matter how good you are, somebody must speak for you. You are a good preacher. Somebody must recommend you. I wouldn't have come here. I don't know Kesasha. I'm in Nigeria. But somebody told somebody. There is a preacher in Nigeria that is good. And that somebody told the pastor. And that is why I am here. Until somebody speaks for you. You will remain at your level. Until somebody advertise you. You will remain at your level. Until somebody says somebody somewhere. champion. You will remain a local champion. My prayer for you is this. Any man that will advertise you, any man that will speak for you, may you come in contact with them. Can I hear you again? Amen. If you are a tenor, a tenor, people so you can know how to sow. But somebody needs to say, This man knows how to sing. No matter what you do, and you know how to do it very well, somebody needs to speak for you. When Jesus came into the world, when Jesus came into the world, nobody believed him. Nobody knew him. Until after his baptism, and the voice came from heaven. This is my beloved son. Oh, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And everybody from that day began to hear him. Everybody from that day began to see him. Everybody from that day began to seek for him. Because a voice advertised him. A voice. Advertise what you do. I'm not hearing an amen. No matter how good you are, somebody must speak for you. Somebody must recommend you. So I will say you know how to do it. You know why people must do it? When you say to people, I know how to do it, people will not believe it. But you know why people must do it? People will not believe it. Hello? Amen. When you go about to pastor, I know how to preach. Nobody will invite you. 
That where you are in your house. Mais, and somebody somewhere said. Go and meet this man of God. He knows how to preach. They will come with respect. Amen. Amen. So, what I'm trying to say is this. There is something that made her get to run away. Sarah trusted her. And said, go into my husband. The moment Sarah went into the husband. And she saw that she has conceived. The moment she saw she's pregnant. Her attitude changed. She looked at Sarah. You are an idiot. Who are you? You live with this man for many years. You can't get common. There are only one night. See my stomach. Yes, you are an idiot. You live with this man for many years. The Bible says that she despised her mistress. What is the meaning of despise? She looked down. She called her nobody. She said, You are good for nothing. In fact, you don't want to marry this man. How can this man live with you for 10 years? You can't give her just a child. But with me, <laughs> one night, I'm on. But tomorrow, and Sarah become nobody. Sarah come and motote, motopama. Had that for God that she was nothing but a man. And that a boss said he can't use a kid like me. Man, take the man like Abraham. Go, go, go. Now you are not being man, motolo, go like Abraham. You are blessed. You are not motopama, brother. For sleeping the same bed with a man God said is my friend. It's a privilege. And this was an Egyptian girl. She has no covenant with God at all. What then would have connected her to Abraham? The connection becomes nonsense. Connection come in with Zoba. Amen. You know there are people like that. There are some bato bato lolenge wana. I don't know where Bishop Beko is. Are you still here? Nabi Tesogi. Bishop Beko be. Bishop Beko be. She went out. She. He is the person that spoke to Pastor Gideon about me. Yeah, me moto alobe la ki muse se don ni kamona ngai. I wouldn't have been here. If not that Bishop Beko spoke to Pastor Beko. You see how connection goes? Somebody must speak for you. For you to be in London as a pastor. Somebody will speak for you. For you to be in Nigeria. Somebody must speak for you. For you to leave this locality. Somebody must speak for you. But there are people after you connect them. You become nonsense. They forget about you. They forget that they don't know Kinshasa. You made them to know Kinshasa. They forget that they were not known near you at all. You, they were not near you at all. Somebody connected them. Imagine a person like Abraham. Sleeping with a maid from Egypt. Sarah did it. Sarah said, "Yango." But Haga, Haga, after conception. Nasima muku kozo mukumba. Say well, Sarah. In this house, I am higher than you. Maskona, kolo kolikayo. 
I carry in one night. What you cannot carry in ten days. You know there are some pastors. The moment their level go up, again, they forget the pastors. They are all of them. Are when you see them now, they tell the levels. Then, I am higher now. And you are lower. They forgot when you started. When all of you are fasting together. When all of you are praying together. And they say for our class of men of God. We are international. Some of you are local. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Something made her hard to run away. When she looked down on Sarah, Sarah said, Have I done wrong? He went to the husband, tell the husband, What wrong have I done? I needed the cry of baby in this house. I waited for 10 years. It was not happening. And I decided to go through another way. What wrong have I done? What wrong have I done? What wrong have I done to you? Let me be frank with you. At the beginning, there is not always a quarrel. You agree with me? At the beginning, there is no quarrel. Quarrel comes in when church begins to prosper. Quarrel sets in when character begins to change. Quarrel comes in. When somebody that used to say good morning, because things have changed. He no longer tell you good morning. When you say good morning, and what pastor say, how are you, my friend? I don't say, Papa. Good morning. He say, how are you? Ah, say, good morning. Level have changed. We are not at the same level. Please witness you want to greet me. Kneel down and greet me. Hear this. I want to, because of time, I want to talk about four things that could bring quarrel. Because if you avoid it, parce if you avoid it, nobody will run away. Okay, nobody will run away. Do you understand? If master do what he's supposed to do, so ki maître do sala o sala. Servant do what he's supposed to do. Servant pay to mumu 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 I just want to narrow down to four because of time. That could possibly cause running away. Because people come in now. I say if you tell people to return. And you did not settle the quarrel. They will run away. Again. So point number one. What could have caused trouble? Possibly, why do people run away? Let me start with Hagar. The moment Hagar conceived, he despised her mistress. 
So one reason why people run away is that people despise them. People despise them. People look down on them. Let me start with the fact we pastors. When a pastor wants to start a church, he will be humble. He comes to people's house to invite them to church. I don't know about you, but in Nigeria you will use megaphone to do money crowd. In the morning you are carrying microphone. Repair! For the kingdom of God is at hand. Pastor humble. He wake up early in the morning. He is preaching. Early in the morning in the church. He is the first to come. Very, very humble. When you say you are in the hospital. Before your husband comes. He is Pastor is there. He's humble. As a humble community. At his beginning. One is a bandini. When two members join. <laughs> Three members join. Ten members come. Twenty members come. He changed. Why? 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 And let me just speak a word in the phone. He now becomes a phone pastor. Can I say this? No human being want to be despised. Did you get what I said? Nobody want to be looked down on. And we pastors need to understand this. A pastor cannot be preaching. At the same time doing Osha. Doing protocol. A pastor cannot be preaching. At the same time playing, playing drums. And if we cannot do it, we have no right to look down on people that don't. Protocols are important. Ushers are important. Moyens important. Musicians are important. The person that cleans this house is important. Can I say this? There are people that do work in this church that people don't see. Their work is secret. Nobody knows them. But they are doing great work. Please, pastors. Let us recognize them. And you don't say, common Osha is talking to me. Nobody is common. Everybody is important. The Bible calls the church the body of Christ. Do you know the meaning of body? Body half eyes. Yes. Nose. Mouth. Hand. Leg. Different parts. All of them work together as a body. Can I say this? Hand can never do what I will do. And nose can never do what mouth can do. When you get to home, try it. When you get home, try it. You know, you use mouth to eat. Take that food inside your nose. And you will see how far. You will know that nose can never do what mouth. Do not look down on anybody. Do not look down on anybody. Do not look down on look down on anybody. Do not look down on
So when you despise people, that when you look down on people, that they lose faith in you. And when they lose faith in you, they leave your church. And if you force that person to return, you must say so far recognize the importance of that person before bringing him back. Because if you bring him back, in this conference we command you to go back. And the man continues to look down on you. One month after this conference, you will go away again. Now, to members, not only to pastors, I'm shouting that because of that, not only to pastors. Pastors, do you recognize that when a member can pray for somebody and the person falls, he's also a pastor like you. Do you recognize that? Do you recognize that? Do you recognize that? When you talk, you say, you pray for somebody for me, pray for somebody for me. So all of us, Two of us are pastors. Ah. Do you understand? For Hagar, she carried pregnant. That Sarah cannot carry. She starts to insult Sarah. When a member come up at the morning, and you can do some certain things in church. That does not mean you have become a pastor. In the church, you have people that announce very well. They know how to talk to people. That does not mean you are a pastor. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. And when they can talk to people very well. So what can give you my customer about my love? They go to their master. And I said, well, you see, I can talk to people. Make me a pastor. And when you don't make them pastors, they run away. To such people, we have no apology. They have another spirit working in them. When a man cannot humble himself to serve on them, man, he don't walk being a leader. Jesus said, I came to serve. From service, he become lifted. Any master that don't know how to serve is not worth being a master. So the emergence of master is from servanthood. You must one day be a servant. By the lifting of God, you get to higher level. That's why this man seated here and all the men of God in the house, they deserve your respect. Because they have come through a lot. Through a lot. To come to the level they are. So ladies and gentlemen, my advice is this. Whatever thing you are, whatever thing you become tomorrow, let it not enter your head. You remain humble as you are. Do not look down on anybody. I will say something that will shock everybody. Here. I'm proud to say that. Listen to me very well. I hope you interpret it very well. I am not the general overseer of my church. I am not the founder of my church. I am serving under somebody. As I'm standing here with you. For the fact that you are a servant, if I propose a Messiah, do not limit what God has placed in you. Go limit it to own some of the issue. 
You can travel abroad as a servant. You can become great as a servant. It's not everybody that has the call of founder. Everybody wants to be founder. Everybody wants to be on call. Everybody wants to be general of us here. If every one of us be general of us whom do we general of us here? I've traveled to many countries. Still, I'm serving under a man. So, for the fact that you are a servant, that for the fact that you humble yourself, under a man of God, does not limit what God wants to give to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Praise the name of the Lord. So, I am still under a man. I am not the founder. And I know that many of my friends sitting there did not know. Bishop Beko has been my Joseph Bishop Beko Not to even say this, not to announce myself. Let me say this, not to announce myself. But as an example. As an example. I was under this man. Uh, he's a Nigerian, he will know who I call. Uh, is that now, I opened first branch. From my branch. Now, oh, yeah. Is that correct? Did he speak correct? Yeah. I don't know what do they call branch of the church here. Yeah. Okay? I opened another church. From the church where I am. In I my general overseer, my founder did not know. After I set it up and equipped it, I tell him, come and see our church. He came. He came. He came. He came. He came. He came. I opened another one. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. I said, sir, we have another branch somewhere. I open another one. I set it up. Everything is working well. And I call him. I say, I've opened another one. Some pastors will not take their general overseer. That will become. Some pastors will not tell their founder. Uh, but pastor will believe I take a money and a phone that they will hide that one as their own job. But over in Bazay Bakaki, money as a contemporary one. Pastor will believe I will use the pastor. Do you get the picture of what I paint? Yeah. Do you get what I say? I say, I'm going to say, you're going to say, you're going to say, I open four church, four church. Now, for money, but a Greece catwalk. My founder. Wouldn't have known if I didn't tell him. But I told him. I said, This is our church. There are some people, the moment you can do things, you are superior, become nobody. Their master becomes nonsense. No matter what you are, still respect your master. No matter who you are, keep humble yourself under him. Do you know what I said? I traveled abroad before my general overseer. My founder did not know. Did he know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I said, take. This is what they gave to me. He's a good man. If it's not good, I will not be serving him up to now anyway. I will not be serving him up to now. So he as I came out and I was a very very good man. As I paid him to Malam. When I gave him the money, that na pesi yango. He took the ten percent of it. I see people say, "Oh man, na pesi ki." I say, "Is your sweat?" I I I I I lobi I lobi nanti na yango. Take it. Be asong seli mai. Is your sweat? Is that what you kina yoga? Take it. Be asong seli mai. Listen to me. You come mai. For the fact that you are serving under a man, 
does not mean that your destiny will not be fulfilled. Your destiny can be fulfilled on that man. Can I hear you again? Number two, because of time. Uh, 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 comparison, unnecessary comparison. Why do people run away? Why do people run away? They compare themselves with other people. But don't say compare with one another. Why will you compare yourself with other people? Why do you only want to compare with other people? Other pastors in other places. Ah, pastor Mususu na isi kama Mususu. They give their members one one thousand. Ah, pesi isi egi mumba mama na mama mil ba mil ba mil fwan. That is their own. When is that bango? Any man that go call, motonyo sonzam ba bengi. He show him a pattern of running his church. Aloki aloki sakai lo lengi akota mone. And you cannot compare your church with another church. You cannot compare this na you na this Mususu. Because the same God be different colors. Why can zam be more come me me baba makabo ndi different. Amen. Amen. Why do people run away? Why do people keep up? They want you to do what other people are doing. By ingi yo osala eloko batumusu basala. Why do people run away? Why do people keep up? They compare you with other people. Bazo compare yo na batumusu. Why do husband and wife get problem in the first place? Why do you want to see people who are problem na katiyanda? It is very dangerous. Is that very dangerous? When a wife start to compare her husband with another husband. Is that the kama sogi mo sa kumo compare mobile na mobile musu? Don't you see how has husband treated her? You say you are a pastor. You say you are a Christian. Don't you see how that brother treats a wife? Nobody wants anybody to compare him with him. So don't compare your husband with anybody. Don't compare your wife with anybody. Don't compare your husband with anybody. You see that sister in the church? How she bend down and respect the husband? Please, husband, don't compare your wife. 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 Loses the confidence of the father. Azo kolomo la confiance ya papa. That's why they run away. Ya moni bango ba kima. When you criticize them, ya mozo kritike bango. When they have problem, ya mozo na likamo. Instead of coming to you, bango zana pona kuye pe inayo. They go to another person. Bako ni pe moto mosusu. And when you are trying to take advice from another person, obi soki mo na nazi konsi ya moto mosusu. You have lost that child. Yo obuni si mo na wana. Amen. Amen. So comparison. Comparison. You know, you meet other people in one church. They tell you in our church. Our pastor pay all the seats. 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 Pastor, you must give me money. 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 Pastor, you must Fingerprint, none like you all over the world. Oni, but print ya lisa pina yo muneni. Isaka ya yo zande mo na batunyo soke. It doesn't look like your father. Isa loko ya papa no di. It doesn't look like your child. Isa loko ya mo na di. It cannot be the same thing with your mother. It cannot be the same thing with your mother. Your own is uniquely your own. Why yo isaka ya yo moko? So when you start to compare yourself with another person, tika kose compare na batu mususu. You enter trouble. Yo omi kote na batu blen. Stop comparison. 
Tika pour se comparer. That's why some people run away. Ya moi ba tebele ba zo. That's why some pastors change. Ya moi ba tebele ba passer ba zo bon. Pastor in Nigeria. Ya moi ba passer mon Nigeria. Went to buy car worth of 1.8 million. Ba zo linga ba so mamitu ka ba 1 million ba ebele ya ba bon. And the member is about 15. Ba membre ka ba 50. 15 or 15. 15. The member is about 15. But, but member 15. But 15 member And I know this man come to me to help him at times. I said, why did you go and buy that kind of car? He said, well, you didn't know. I am now a bishop. And all my bishop friends. my bishop. They have big cars. I have to get one. So that I will know, they will know that also I am also a bishop. I say, how did you get the money? He said he borrowed the money. Oh, yeah. I said, how did you get the so when you start to compare yourself with other people, you will do what you don't supposed to do. God has timing for everybody. When it is your time, you will manifest. When it is your time, you will not beg for visa. When it is your time, those that forget you will remember you. The all is timing. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, there is time for everything. So stop comparing yourself. It can be my turn today. It will be a turn tomorrow. It will be a turn tomorrow. It will be a turn of another person next time. Everything in life is turned by turn. And look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor your time will come. Don't be in a hurry. Number three. Unnecessary competition. 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 Mm, competition. Competition can make people to do nonsense. Oui, oui, competition, competition, et When the preacher of the result was talking yesterday, oui, bah, le a été le the man that talked about result, a a le résultat. he said you are not showing anybody anything. Oui, oh, là, do your own thing. 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 Uh, Stop doing unnecessary competition. By the way, men are born in a competitive form. Forget that we are pastors. Tell yourself the truth. You want to be better than everybody. That is the truth. Nobody wants to be second. Everybody wants to be first. We are born competitive in nature. That was why when Esau and Jacob was being born, when Esau and Jacob was ah, born, as the other one, Esau was coming out, Jacob hold his leg. Small children. Small children. They don't know anything. But as Esau was coming out, he says, so you must not come at first. He was holding the leg. Jacob said, I'm the one that's supposed to come first. And they came out together. The one holding the leg. We are born in a competitive form. Even in our families at times, we are bragging for who will be the first. Even in the church, we are dragging who will come at first. But in all this competition, you must have self control. And it doesn't drive you to do what you're not supposed to do. Because of time, number four, number four pride. 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 That's why people run away. I'm too big to stay in this church. 
Because of that pride, people go away. But the baby was okay. And ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this, this morning, I, I want to tell you the truth. If you are asked to return, maybe you are a master here. And you want to return to God. You return humbly. Oh, And you are a servant here. Maybe you left out of pride. Maybe you left out of comparing yourself with other people. Return to your master with humility. Zoma I say I'm sorry. You don't return with pride. Well, I just want to pity you to come back. Ah, just an egg of a single pardon as well. Will you say you did not miss me? Will you say you didn't miss me? Yo, the baggy take a use of my woman can I? All the time I'm coming, I didn't come to church. Now, I'm telling you so much that they exist. You are talking to your master. Also, you will be a mentor now. Respect yourself so that I can come back here. Ah, you say, respect me and so you that is not the way to return. You need to humble yourself. And say, I return. Forgive me for the things that I've done. Masters, metro. you don't need to look down on anybody. The least person in the church is important. And you need to respect that. When master does well, maître a sa and servant do well. Maître a sa la malam on sait pas sa la malam. And when there is peace, there is prosperity. Pour tous les serviteurs de Dieu, les enfants de Dieu, les frères et sœurs en Christ qui veulent faire leur promotion dans ces sites internet, et les Nazariens est là pour vous accueillir, pour faire vos promotions et tout ce que vous voulez. Et surtout les pasteurs pour les prédications, le frère chrétien pour vos albums, vos disques. En tout cas, contactez le site Les Nazariens. Les Nazariens, c'est un site qui promouvoit qui promou tout le monde, hein, qui fait la promotion de tout le monde. Donc, qui fait la promotion des serviteurs de Dieu. Et donc, je crois, et on a tout dit. Hein. Les Nazariens, les Nazariens, les Nazariens, suivez. Nazariens, Nazariens. Bongo nangai, bato basuto kingai na komi.